Hey guys, Shamini from Shamini Films. This morning, Adrian Krager asked me if I edit photos at nighttime. I used to, and I don't anymore. So uh, when I first started, I would do it because it was great time of day to edit. Like I do all the, the shooting and the interacting with people during the day and then sit down on my computer at night, um, you know, put on like Netflix or something and then edit away. The problem was that I found over time that um, the photos would look different in the morning than they did in the middle of the night when I was editing. Um, sometimes that meant, you know, at nighttime they looked super bright and vibrant and, and colorful. And then in the morning they looked kind of dull or the color was off. Like I thought that it looked like true to skin tone color, but it turned out that it is actually more like orange or more blue. It, there wasn't any consistency apart from the fact that it went from looking at nighttime like, wow, super pretty to morning being like, oh, damn it, I have to re-edit these because these just don't look good. And so I found it made me do double the work because um, I would re-edit them. And there was a, t a transition time there where, you know, I think at first I probably didn't even notice the difference because my eye wasn't trained well enough. And then when I started to notice subtle things, I was like, hmm, these look a little bit warmer than they did last night. So I'd go through and I'd edit. And then the next time I would do it, I'd be like, hmm, these look a little like less saturated and I'd go through and I'd fix it. Um, but I found myself constantly re like fixing until I kind of got the point and was like, oh, hey, maybe the fact that I have to re-edit every single time means I just shouldn't do it. So now I do all my editing by daylight, by window light, natural light. Um, I have, before making this video, I quickly did a little Google search to see if there was any information out in the world for photographers or filmmakers who um, like what happens to the computer screen at nighttime or to our eyes and our vision and the surrounding atmosphere that makes it change. Because um, I think it was a fair assumption to assume <laughs> that the computer screen would look the same. Um, and there isn't a whole lot of information out there and I don't understand the science myself, but the, 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 the vibe that I got was that your eyes are, you know, they're, they're taking in light from everywhere, including the screen, and it can put a lot of eye strain um, to help with the eyes. You can change the temperature of the monitor, um, whether it's more blue or more orange, and that in doing so, um, you know, obviously the photographs are gonna look different. This isn't such a big deal for, like if the, if the computer screen changes, in the nighttime, it doesn't matter if you're just writing words or if you're surfing the internet. So for most people, that's gonna work fine, but if you're working with images, then your screen is gonna be calibrated, maybe. <laughs> um, anyway, the, the color is very important. So changing the temperature to make it easier on your eyes, which your computer might do anyway, it might automatically adjust brightness or, or saturation stuff, um, and then it kind of messes up the editing. So. Uh, I don't have a specific answer about exactly what's happening, but, but if you know the science behind it, please leave a comment below explaining that for people. Also, if you know what's happening with the monitors and what changes, explain that below. Um, only advice that I can give is one, if you are working with images, be aware that there might be a difference. And if you haven't noticed it yet, start to look for it because you don't want to spend all this time editing your photos at night and then have to waste time the next day re-editing them. Um, and that's just something I picked up over time naturally. So hopefully my little life lesson will help you beat, beat me to it. Do it faster than I did it. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes is what we call it. Um, cool. And Adrienne had asked because she also edits photos for her jewelry company, which is Everling Jewelry. Little plug in for you there. Um, and she had said that she noticed a difference too. So she was coming to me for that expert advice on like, hey, what's happening? My advice is don't edit at night time. Um, or you know what you can do, if you, if, you, if you do have a lot of free time at night um, and you wanna use that, but you don't wanna mess with the color problem, you can choose to do certain parts of the editing process, like do the culling. You know what culling is? It's where you, you go through all the photos you took and then you choose which ones you're gonna use as the finalists. Like choose the pictures at night and then edit the color in the morning. Um, or maybe if you edit by daytime, but then you can do other photo related things like exporting them or importing the cards or it's those tasks that aren't related if you're just trying to look for free time in the day. Cool. Um, 
let me know if you have any other questions about this kind of stuff. It's all stuff that I just, you know, figured out as I've been in business for, I'm in my seventh year now, six or, hit the six year mark, coming up on seven. Um, and, a, and a lot of it was just self-taught and things like five years go by and suddenly you're like, maybe I'm not gonna edit night anymore. <laughs> so feel free to ask questions and I'll let you know if I know. Um, my name is Shramani. I'm in Seattle. I make films and photos for artists and entrepreneurs and my website is shamanyfilms.com. All right, thanks. And thanks Adrian for the question.